Well, I told you earlier that Darren is on assignment tonight, and indeed he is, at all places, a beanbag tournament. Darren, what is this about? <laughs> <laughs> I am indeed, Bailey. Actually, this uh, whole section of Superior Street is blocked off for a beanbag tournament. It's called Bags and Brews. There's the tournament. There's beer. There's food. There's live music playing. We just uh, took a break. The championship beanbag game is going on right now, by the way, so it's pretty exciting. So it's, a, it's just a fun event for sure, but for a very good cause for childhood cancer research. We all know that cancer doesn't discriminate men, women, and yes, even children. Unfortunately, Blake Conklin of ESCO was given a cancer diagnosis when he was just seven years old. Blake Conklin is a hockey fan. He especially loves the UMD Bulldogs. Who, who do you root for? Um, in the Bulldogs? Yeah. I, I root for all of them. And like most kids, Blake is always on the move. But in October of 2018, he wasn't moving very well. It was definitely scary. I was really tired at the time. I don't remember a lot of it, but I do remember I was really, really tired. His parents got doctors involved immediately, but the news was not good. And I was at home and, yeah, we got the phone call that he has cancer. <clears throat> yeah. I just I remember work. crying and collapsing and they just said you have to come to the hospital right away. Blake was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. So I would say within five weeks, he went from being a healthy kid to being... And he never got sick. Never. Never until that point. Cancer treatments began. Chemotherapy, powerful antibiotics, the works for nearly three years. Those three years were tough, but um, knowing that we were fighting for Blake, I mean, it, it did bring us together. I mean, there were some hard times too going through it, but I do think we're stronger and better off today as a family and a unit, as a couple. And fighting cancer is expensive. Yeah, H high, yeah. Higher than we planned. Mm. I would imagine. Like hundreds of thousands. Eventually, Blake began feeling better enough to get back on the ice, which is where he met one of his UMD hockey heroes, Will Francis. Will is a cancer survivor too. Turns out they have the same power skating coach and the same oncologist, and between the oncologist and the power skating coach, and then Will, we get a phone call that says, hey, guess who's coming to power skating today? I was really excited. He's, he's, a, he's really tall. He's a giant. He's like 6'5 on skates. He's got to be 8 feet tall. <laughs> it was really exciting to me. Like I was skating with a bulldog player. And now, at 11 years old, Blake's hockey game is improving a lot. And so is Blake. So um, they re-ran all the tests on him, and um, there's no sign of leukemia right now. So that's a blessing beyond belief. I asked Blake how it makes him feel now, knowing that telling us his story will help others. It makes me feel pretty happy because some people can't afford it and I don't, I don't like hearing that. I always want to help. And that is why Blake Conklin is Northland Strong. He is Northland Strong and fortunately getting stronger each and every day. And all these people, including Will Francis himself, was down here tonight raising money for a childhood cancer foundation called Alex's Lemonade Stand Foundation. Now, if you can't come down here and be here in person and make a donation, you can online. I'll have a link to that foundation website in this story on WDIO.com. Bailey? Oh, Darren, I'm so glad to hear he's doing well, and I hope they raise a lot of money tonight.